What up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Toonerami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Today's video is going to be all about Chain Battle, the Dragon Stone, the Dragon Stone, and uh, I think that's it. So let's just jump right in. First things first, uh, as a lot of you may know, the Chain Battle has ended. The points were tallied very fast, I might add. And the listings have all been uh, sorted out, so I have placed in the top 1%, which means I will be getting these rewards. Uh, these were actually, actually, it might be better to show it here. Uh, battle log is, no, it's not battle log. Is it rankings? List of rewards, yeah. So these are the various tiers, depending on where you got, you get stuff. Uh, for top 1%, you get 250 large orbs and then proportionally the following, the subsequent medium orbs and small orbs. So I think that means one rainbow per unit, or per type. And then we get three stickers, 10 Elder Kai's. That's pretty crazy to me, 10 Elder Kai's, uh, 5,000 Pepsis, and some Hercule statues. So I place in the top 1%, so I get all of that. So I'm gonna pick that up right now. Um, actually, how many small orbs am I getting? I'm getting 4,500. Yeah, this is essentially a rainbow. One rainbow for each type. And then I got 10 Elder Kai's, some statues, and some Pepsis. So first things first, we're gonna go summon on the skill orb chest again. This time, I'm not going to uh, pretend like I know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna summon and I'm not gonna have any, there you go, you guys are happy. You guys would probably be happy now. I got uh, a bunch of bronze, so I think <laughs> I think the beginner gains are fading away. So let's see what else we get. We get a couple golds, cool. Not gonna make any reaction, because I, <laughs> I don't wanna make people upset. So more of that. If we can get an additional gold, that would be nice. Like, a, uh, we got a gold crit. And then uh, we will move on to the next topic on the video. So, a couple more golds. Level 5 is pretty cool. And lastly... Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to keep that until we get 1,000. I'm going to wait until we get 1,000. I'm not going to actually do that one. So, that is it for the chain battle part of the video. Up next will be something else. So, as you guys might have noticed, you received a, what is it, a God Dragonstone? I can never remember the names of these things. The God Dragonstone, let's find it here. Yes. So, you received a redstone, and you are able to use that redstone to select one of these units. All of these units have had easy A's, or I should say, have had or will have easy A's. Because we have two more units on this roster that were never there before and are kind of unexpected, especially if you're a global player. Because we haven't had these easy A's yet. So, I don't know if maybe they had planned for these two units to have already been circulating on global as easy A's. Or this was done intentionally because JP already had their easy A's. I don't know. But it's kind of a funny thing to see these two on this list after not having had their easy A's. A lot of people were hoping for it. They were kind of disappointed. So seeing this is actually pretty hilarious. So the AGL Khalifa and the Physical Kale are both already, they already have their easy A's on JP. So they will be getting it on Global at some point. People are now saying it's probably gonna happen when the LR Jiren unit shows up on Global. And if that's the case, we're probably gonna have to wait a little bit. But if you guys wanna get a head start on maxing those units out, or if you maybe don't have a copy, consider picking that up. Generally speaking, the rule of thumb that I approach when it comes to this whole thing is pick the unit you have the least copies of. For me, since I'm, you know, a whale right now. I have every single unit, almost rainbowed, all of them. There's still a couple that I've been struggling to find, and uh, oh, it's those units that I basically want to be going after. So, out of this list, the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, the tech one, is not here, but the Kid Buu and the uh, Beerus are the two units that I've been struggling to pick up. I just recently, on the five year, picked up this red stone for the Kid Buu, so I actually have him at one dupe which leaves my Beerus at 55%. I have never been able to get more copies, ever, and I feel like I've been missing out, because this guy has a lot to contribute, especially when linked up, or paired up, I should say. Sorry, I've got some Grand Cross on the brain. When this is paired up with the LR, STR, Beerus, and Whis. So, I ultimately decided to pick my Tech Beerus. And in doing so, I got my Beerus to 69%, don't mind that Piccolo. If you watched my last video, you would understand why that Piccolo is there. Let me find the Beerus. So yeah, the, nope, that's the wrong one. The Beerus is at 69%. So I'm very happy with that. And uh, it was a no-brainer for me. 
Now, the next thing, this one's probably not going to apply to most of you because most of you are probably not going to be having to deal with the situation because you didn't pay for it. And uh, this is going to have to do with the premium Dragonstone 6. Now, this one is hidden behind a paywall. So if you are not ready to spend on this, which most of you shouldn't, don't worry about it. But I'm still going to talk about it because it has some pretty interesting offers. So assuming at this point, if you're still watching, that means you have summoned or you've, you're planning on purchasing these, these stones. But if you do end up buying these stones, there are three in all. And if you buy all three of them, you will get all three purple stones, which will enable you to buy some of these packages. So <clears throat> the last time that we had this, it was a very interesting set of combinations. And I thought it was actually kind of creative. It, from, from strictly from a marketing standpoint, this was creative. The fact that you'd have to pay so much to get it kind of stinks. But the fact that they are now adding some extra incentives to figuring out which ones you want, which batches you want. I thought that was very interesting. And they're continuing that here. So the first batch is going to be Broly, Broly, Paragus, the Future Saga units, the Goku, Black Zamasu, and Trunks, Majin, Vegeta, everyone from the Majin Buu Saga right here, Trunks and the androids, Gohan and the androids, Bardock and his son, uh, Beerus and the two guys trying to train to be like Beerus, Goku and Tapions from the same movie, uh, this one, I feel like they kind of ran out of ideas. This is Bojack and Frieza and Slug, just three movie villains. And then uh, the Mighty Mask and the two Kid Saiyans. So these are all the units that if you spend three, all three of your, your purple stones, you would get one of these uh, bunches or batches of three. So I ultimately, for my situation, I would want Gohan, Cell, and Android 16. As weird as that sounds, that's the best situation for me because here... The Broly and Paragus are rainbowed. Here, the Trunks and the Goasu are basically rainbowed and almost rainbowed. I don't really have much to gain. Here, as much as I would love to have another Majin Vegeta and put his hidden potential at 79%, both the Hercule and the Goku are both rainbowed and they're fully easy 8 out, so it would be unnecessary to have more copies of that. Honestly, if you guys are considering this and you actually do buy this, I highly recommend these two if you haven't already tried them out. Those two units with their EZAs, the STR Android 17 and the INT Android 18, are two of the greatest EZA duos I've ever used. Really, really, really good. I have had the easiest time running through the Legendary Goku event with these two units. They completely dominate. And then you'd have a Trunks to tag along. Honestly, the Trunks is not nearly as valuable as these two. For me, I think I only have one dupe of the Gohan. I think I have like two dupes of Cell Jr., one dupe of the INT Android 16. So I have the most to gain from this because each unit that I pick up will help me. Whereas in other situations, I have a couple rainbows, so they'd be duds. Here I have the LR Bardock rainbow. These t this guy's also rainbowed. I don't have any more uh, of the STR Bardock. This one I would have wanted to have more copies of, but unfortunately, since these two are rainbowed, I can't do that. And then the rest is in the same situation. However, this is not the end. So if you decide against any of these and you don't need any of them, you have more options. And this is where it started to get interesting for me because I started to find myself struggling to decide where I wanted to go because you've got the Gohans. Now they're kind of useless now that the chain battle is gone. You've got Topo and Juden. You've got the Fusions. You've got the GT guys, the Super Saiyan 4 and the Mini Goku. Real Blue Vegeta, Majin Vegeta, or Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. you got more movie bosses in Turles and uh, Android 13. Some Majin Buu units over here. Realm of Gods. Shadow Dragon Saga, and uh, what I would assume would just be Universe 7 units, representatives of Universe 7. So, the reason why I'm actually very intrigued by this is because I have never been able to, for the longest time, Omega Shenron was actually my white, white whale, is that the term? Yeah, where I could never get a copy of him. I finally got a copy of him, now I need to get a dupe in there, so I have not been able to do that. So I think I'm actually going to go with picking up a copy of the Omega, and then getting an Oceanus as well, because this just tremendously bolsters my Shadow Dragon Saga category as a whole, and it's not much to begin with, so every single unit in there pretty much counts. So if I can get this guy souped up to maybe a 90%, 79% or something like that, that would be really sweet. So I'm actually going to go with this. I haven't actually purchased, I mean, I have purchased the Dragonstones, but I haven't spent them, so I'm still deciding. So this video is not only helping you guys potentially, but it's also helping me make this decision. So if I were to spend the two Dragonstones on this, I'm still going to have one left over, which means I'm going to have to go with one of these. Now, the great thing about this is that if you don't have some of these units already maxed out, 
um, or maybe if you do, now you can go in and you can buy this copy and then have it ready for the next SA5 boost that they get. Because we already had a couple units already get their EZAs. The Super Saiyan 3 Broly had its EZA, and I believe the Super 17 just got his EZA as well. So these two have their EZAs on JP, none of which have shown up on Global yet. But eventually all of these monotypes are going to, not monotypes, just type leads are going to be getting EZAs. The Physical Vegeta already has it, so ignore that. And the Rosé also, ignore that. But everybody else will be getting their EZAs at some point. So ask yourself if you need another copy. If you do, is it going to be working as a dupe? Or is it going to be the start of the next SA boost, SA5? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy Omega Shenron Oceanus. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and buy a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta because I love Vegeta. I've got him rainbowed, so I might as well get started on the next copy to get him to SA5. It'll save me one Kai. So that's a, it's a nice way to Dokkan responsibly. So let me jump over to the treasure section. And we can now see the premium god Dragonstone 5. And if I head down, Omega Shenron, this guy, man, has been a thorn in my side for an eternity. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a copy. So that takes care of two, which leaves me one. And let's go... Actually, you know what? Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is great and all, but now that I just... Now that I think about it, I haven't rainbowed the Janemba or the Cooler. Janemba's at 90%. 90, 90%. Cooler's at 79%. i am actually going to pick up a copy of Cooler. That's actually better. Instead of wasting for a dupe of a unit that is already rainbowed, I'm going to try to get the rest of my guys rainbowed. So, normally I wouldn't recommend something like that, where like if a unit's at 90% and you try to go for the rainbow, do it. But because I have no other option, I'm doing it. So, with that, I'm actually done. And that gives me, yeah, that gives me the cooler. Putting him at 90%, that gives me the Omega at 69%. And then the Oceanus Shenron, I believe, is at 79 or 80. I was going to say 80. I'm really tired. 79% or 90. She's not going to get a TUR for a long time because that just happened on JP. So, that is pretty much it. Chain battle. Red Dragonstone, Purple Dragonstone. Use those items wisely. Be smart. If you're not sure, don't do it. Maybe wait. So that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. And let me know in the comments, did I fall asleep halfway through that video? Because literally right now, I just realized that I'm awake. I literally don't know. I might have fallen asleep in the middle of some of those sentences. And I might have just spewed out nonsense. So actually, can you guys do me a favor and let me know? Did I just spew out some nonsense at random parts in the video? Did I did I stutter? Did I say something weird? I'm a little nervous. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. And click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. That's so trippy. I've been talking this whole time, but I don't remember half of the stuff that I said. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and always remember to dokon responsibly. And good night.